Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Kudo. Uh, it's my 1970 Chevelle uh, project. I uh, got a 454 for it. It's standard right now, but I have a 400 transmission. Uh, I might put a 4 speed in it, but today I picked up a 12 bolt rear end for it. This is my 57 Chevy project, the Gasa project. It's the sport. Pitless. Here's my 12 bolt. Picked it up out of a junkyard today. Uh, paid like $250 for it. Uh, I get some coil springs in the, the finned uh, rotors too. Finned uh, drums. Um, I wiped it down with, uh, I got a, like a bristle brush with a handle and some heating fluid, like diesel fuel, you know, it's kerosene heating, heating fuel. And uh, I wiped it down, scrubbed it down with the bristle brush to clean it up. Uh, it was caked with with dirt on it and oil and stuff like that. Um, because you know, eventually I like to paint it up, clean it up, take it apart, rebuild it, put all new bushings in it and stuff like that. Uh, but I got the sway bar. It's got some air shocks on it. Uh, I got the lower control arms because the sway bar bolts to it. Um, I just wanted to show you, it's kind of cleaned up right now, cleaned it up maybe an hour ago, maybe a little longer. Afterwards I went inside and took a shower, so it's been a while, you know, I laid down, it was hot out today. Uh, it looks like it's been rebuilt, with new wheel cylinders, springs and stuff like that, the pads are really thick on both sides. Um, Turns real, real smooth, and uh, I got a chrome cover for the rear end. I didn't, I had noticed I didn't clean the rear end yet. Uh, the cover, rear cover. I did flip it over and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what some of these these markings mean. I was gonna look it up online. Uh, it says B J. Right there, it says B J. On this side, it says one two three it's got like a little clock right there with the thing on the very bottom it's got some some numbers it's got a two on this corner I don't know what that says GF D GFD maybe and there's another number right there. Uh, 406208. I don't know what any of those mean. I was going to look them on, up online. I think it has 273s in it. It almost goes around three times when uh, we marked it. We uh, turned this, and I kept my finger on one of the the thing it doesn't have a positive unit in it it's a limited slip and uh, they both turn but it's a limited slip I think they go opposite ways actually those are all right see that one's going that way they go in both the same way but I still think it's a limited slip they turn to get you know um, Let's see. I had the bright idea of what I was going to do because I got this out of a junkyard. I was going to uh, take, I was going to go check out some uh, truck 12 volt rear ends and pull out a, like find a posi chuck with uh, some gears and build this in the junkyard, then go pay for it. <laughs> but uh, it was just too damn hot out. And a center chuck, they want um, ring, ring and pinion, they want um, $60 for it. So I'll just you know, search around and pay the sixty dollars. Um, I'll probably get these welded after I clean it all up and uh, you know, getting ready to paint it and rebuild it and stuff like that. I'll probably just get these uh, the housing welded and stuff like that before I uh, do anything. I'm gonna replace all these bushings when I rebuild it and all the. 
all the uh, seals and stuff like that. And all the bearings. I'll just go right through it. New gasket on the thing. I don't know if I'm going to put the chrome cover on it, but I got a chrome cover in the garage. Maybe put some longer studs on it so I can put some like racing wheels or something on my car. I don't know what I'm going to run. I, I kind of like that uh, 70, uh, the 70 Chevelle uh, 5 star wheels, the ones that come on the Z28s. I kind of like those. Uh, and I. I this is a five on. This is a five five bolt pad, and I pulled it out of a seventy one uh, Oldsmobile uh, ninety eight. It was a big four door car, and uh, I saw the twelve bolts in it. I went online. It says that it bolts right into uh, the um, the Chevelle, and the car had twelve inch front discs. So I'm gonna get those and what else? I, whatever else I can get and put it on my Chevelle. I do have a set of 11 inch discs that I pulled off of a 71 Cutlass. I pulled uh, the spindles and the uh, calibers, backing plates, uh, all that stuff, the rotors and cal uh, I said calibers and the hoses and everything. I got all that for $15 out of a scrapyard. They charged me uh, 30 cents a pound. Uh, that's my 12 bolt rear end. I'm cleaning it up to put my 1970 Chevelle project. Keep Kakuda signing out. Thanks for watching. That's what she looks like cleaned up. Oh, the, the car, this rear car is not cleaned up. Somehow I, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, that's my 12 bolt rear end right there. And you guys know how to decode the rear end, uh, those numbers and stuff, you can. I'd appreciate it. Uh, again, like I said, I'll probably look online and see if I could. I noticed my trailing arms had numbers on them too. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, trailing arm says, I don't know if you can see that, but it says zero four two eight. I don't know. I can't read the last. Couple of numbers. No, that didn't help at all. <laughs> uh, 1A1, maybe? 04281A1? I don't know. I just happened to notice it had a number on it when I was cleaning it. I can read it on this one. That's what it really matters, right? This one's got dents in it. 04291B1. So I guess uh, A would mean driver's side, B would mean passenger side. Again, you need to change these bushings up too. They're all dry rotted. These bump stop things right here are in good condition. It's solid, not dry right at all. The back of my wheel cylinders, the bleeder valves and stuff. This line looks pretty nice. It's not all rusty and crumbly and stuff. That uh, tube. Anyway. Air shocks. I'm hoping to jack up the ass end of it, my car, a little. Uh, put the other coil springs in it because it's a heavier car and try to get my ass up in the in the air. Then you can see the rear end. But it, I like that stance where it's a little jacked up in the back. Cape Car signing out. Thanks for watching.